Hi, and welcome back to Stereo Niche. I'm Scott Schneider. This week, we're going to review the SDA2 from Polk Audio. Let's get going. Okay, so as I mentioned, we're going to talk about the Polk SDA2 today. Um, Polk is a, a speaker company that was relatively new by the time, even by the time this came out. They, they started their line around 1974, 75. And their, their speaker line, by the way, if you run across uh, any of them, they're, they're great speakers. Um, I think they're probably one of the biggest bang for the buck uh, out there. Um, so, but this, this is the SDA model. And the SDA stood for Stereo Dimensional Array. It's quite a mouthful. Um, but what essentially it is, is, is a uh, two, it's basically two speakers within one, if you will. So what the Polk was trying to do or, or attempt to do here is to, to cancel out the crosstalk between the left and the right speaker. So when you're listening to your speakers, on the, when you have a right speaker and it, the signal comes to your right ear first before it gets to your left ear. So that little bit of time delay has an impact on the imaging qualities. So what they did was they have a cable that connects both speakers and it sends the signal from each speaker to the opposing one and brings that channel into the SDA component of the speaker and then sends that to the opposing ear. So the right channel sends its signal to the left speaker and then it sends the cancellation signal to your left ear. And the result of that is supposed to be a much bigger sound stage. So we're going to put that to the test here. We're going to set them up. Uh, they're already set up, but we're going to put our, our test tracks on and do an A-B head-to-head uh, comparison against this set of advents. And then I'll come back and I'll review them with you, uh, let you know my thoughts around the design and then the, um, the imaging, of course, which is the big issue here and the big question, and then the qualities of the highs, the, low, the mids, and the lows, and I'll let you know what I think. See you soon. Okay, the review is done. The voting has completed and I have tallied the scores. So let's just jump right into it. Well, we're gonna start off with the style and um, I don't have much to say. Uh, it's, a, it's a big boring box, you know. Uh, there's not a whole lot to say about the styling because they didn't put a lot of thought into it. If it's anything, it's bland, I guess, is about the only thing I can say about them. And maybe that was a, a selling point back then. Maybe that's when speakers decided not to be uh, something you saw in the room and uh, they meant to hide, try and hide them as, as big as they are. I don't know, but they certainly don't stand out and they don't have the design uh, aesthetic to me as the pull of the advents. So... I gave the, I'd given the Advents a 13, and so for these um, Polks, I gave them an 11, which probably sounds pretty kind of high based on my comments, but I have seen some really ugly speakers. Uh, if you're old enough, you may know of a term called, or a, a design style called Mediterranean, and that was on a god-awful uh, reddish uh, fabric-looking uh, consoles back in the 19, early 70s, late 60s, and... Uh, uh, that's that's pretty ugly, and then certainly not at that level. Um, so I give them an 11, and um, nothing else to say, I guess. So on to the uh, the sound quality as far as imaging, which was the big deal. Uh, imaging was everything that was marketed. That's what SDA is about. So was it hype, or was it marketing? The answer is no, it was not. It, uh, it's a real thing, and it makes, it makes a huge difference uh, in the experience, uh, in the sound. Everything is better, honestly. I, I just put it that way. Everything about listening to these speakers is better because of the SDA. When you 
have a good speaker like the Advent and the soundstage is fairly decent, you know, it's not, it's not small, it's not, you know, um, non-existent, it's there, it's, pl it's pleasant. And then you switch it over to something like these Polks and it just, just goes like this. Um, it's, it's just sort of uh, surrounds you in a way. And when that happens, it's just more exciting. And I'm gonna use this word exciting probably every other word. It's, uh, it, it livens up everything about the sound. Now, some people may not, you know, may not like that quality. I, honestly, I don't know of anyone that has ever told me that it has too big of a sound stage. I don't know that I've ever heard anyone. I've, I've heard the opposite, but I've never heard anyone complain that the sound stage was too big. So, with that aspect, it's um, it's pretty hard to rate anything else uh, in a bad way uh, because unless it was somewhere deficient somewhere, but that is a quality that really makes them stand out. So for the imaging, I had given the Advents a 15, and for the Polks, I gave them an 18. Now I've just raved about them, and so why didn't I give them a 20? But uh, I have um, heard some speakers, some electrostats uh, that, and if you haven't heard an electrostat, it's quite a different experience as well, and they do it differently, and it does a, a, a job on imaging that it, I don't know that is, um, uh, can be paralleled with really many other, other speakers, but these do come very close. So the 18 is, uh, I think, um, where they, is, is the best uh, rating for them. On to the lows. The lows were very good. I, I wrote they were deep and pronounced, but again, because of the SDA, they were not um, sort of uh, directional in a way. The Advents are good, and I, I like the, the low end of the Advents, but the, dip, the, the, the low end is sort of pinpointed into the center, and it, it's sort of, um, you, you sort of feel like it's just right there in front of you, which is, which is okay. It's, it's nothing, you know, it's not uh, a bad experience, and it does, it's not annoying or anything, but when you switch over to the SDA, and the base is sort of around and you can't quite pinpoint it, it just feels better. It just feels like that's more right in a way. Now, some people will say that uh, uh, low end is non-directional, but if that were true, then they wouldn't put, start putting uh, subs on both sides of the room. And uh, most of really high end systems have, if you're gonna have a sub, will actually have two, um, one on each side of the room. So. Either way, wherever your, your preference is, uh, if you're not gonna have a sub with these, which I don't tend to need subs, but um, the experience for me was much better. So on scoring wise, I had given the Advents a 14, and for these, uh, the Polk SDAs, I give them a 16. Now moving on to the mids, which is to me, as far as which area I am most concerned about, it is the mids. and. I have to hear those voices out front and I have to hear them separate from the music. It's, it's just uh, an aspect for me to enjoy it. That's an aspect I have to have. And they, they come through uh, in, in a fantastic way. The mids are just, I wouldn't say they're in your face. They're just out there around in, you know, in, in, in front. And each track that has a strong voice associated to the music um, was again more pleasant and that word exciting comes to mind and it's just more fun it's it just a a more engaging um, experience again uh, that I'll, I'll use that word overuse it as well if you want to hear your music unlike you've probably heard it before hear it on some of these and you will probably hear things that you didn't hear before some nuances and I and actually um, I didn't get a chance to do it this time, but I did see uh, a good question or a good recommendation about you know trying to point out some tracks where I hear some differences, and I'll try to do that. Um, but I didn't get it in this particular review. But I, I will. I like that suggestion, and I'll try to do that in a in a future um, review. So, on the uh, Advents, I'd given them a 16, and for these on the mid, I gave them an 18. So on to the highs. Um, again, I love the highs of the Advents. I had given them a 16. Um, the 
the SDA was very similar in tone. I, I felt like they were very close. Um, and I had given, I gave the SDAs a 17. What edged them out again was the, uh, the, the, the ability to have it sort of everywhere, that the, the soundstage accentuates that and it's just more pleasant. And I can't separate, I, I could separate and say just, you know, let me just take that tweeter out and put it next to my ear and tell you, how does it sound? Well, you know, that's one way to do it, but I, I think it's in combination with everything else. It's in concert with the entire system. So I, I feel like I have to think about it that way. Um, you can't just take the pieces you like and then plug them into a Franken speaker and think that you're going to get a good sound. It is in total. So that's sort of the way I look at it. Um, I did find, I did feel like they were, uh, between the two, they were similar though. Uh, I did feel like they were, had, had similar sound qualities to them. But I, they edged them out by a point. So if you're keeping up with the totals here, the Advent had scored a 74 and the SDAs in total, I gave them an 80. So that's a six point difference. If they were, you know, marginally had some design, there would have been at least two more points there. Uh, so that would have been an 82 potentially, but you know, I took away from the styling. So I think a six point difference is pretty significant um, in, in how I'm rating them. So that's it, that's the summary. Um, I would recommend these uh, to anyone if you find a set. Uh, if you do, make sure you you have this cable. Uh, they will not work uh, without this cable. That's uh, quite necessary. If they don't have the cable, you you I have read where you can make your own uh, if you're so inclined. I have seen some for sale on eBay. I think I've seen some out there, um, some homemade ones or, or somewhere. They, I don't I don't think they were from factory, but they could be. This particular set seems to have a, a slightly different connector, a round connector versus most of them have a, some kind of two prong connector. Um, which I couldn't find one. I, I was curious if I could find a spare and I could not find one. So uh, that's my, I don't know how rare that is, but I, I, at least when I did a search some months ago, I could not find one. So just a heads up on that. Um, yeah, uh, the other thing I wanted to point out is that being, again, these were $1,200 speakers in their day and the Advents were around 400. So, you know, it's 3X difference and that was not insignificant money in 1983 or 84 when these came out. So uh, a pretty big uh, chunk of change. So if you had the budget uh, and you listened to both of these, I'm sure you went with the, the SDA. It, did, again, didn't have the look, but it certainly separates itself from the pack with how it sounds, at least in these two. Now, it'll be interesting to, to I want to hear these against another set I have in the back, which are SRS models, which are much bigger. Um, they have some condition issues I'm still working on, but, uh, but these sure excel. Now, I pointed out in, in, in an earlier comment that the other SD, uh, the other Polk models, other Polks, Polk 7s, Polk 10s, they're great speakers and they sound really good. These are a definite step up from there. Um, and so, you know, keep an eye out for them. Uh, that's pretty much it for this review. I do want to thank everyone for uh, all the comments, um, lots of views. I, I, I'm, it's really exciting to see uh, how many people have, have you know, viewed the, uh, the videos uh, and subscribed, which please, if you like this video and you haven't subscribed, please do. And uh, I'll be doing another, uh, some upcoming reviews of the, uh, either the Pioneer SDA, uh, SDA, TZ9 that's in here, um, now or the uh, Cambridge Soundworks, the little red ones you may have seen in a video. And once these are done, then I will be clearing out this room, uh, except for the advents and bringing in all new speakers. So I know there are requests uh, and some comments uh, about just these speakers. These are not the only speakers I have. I have many, many more. So I will be bringing them in here, uh, rotating them through and giving them a, a review as well. So stay tuned. And uh, thanks again for uh, watching the video.